What's up guys, welcome back to Software Nine Solutions. And are you busy playing Hunt Showdown and doing frames like this? Or under 60 FPS? And you want to get frames like this? Do you want frames like this? Then follow my guidelines and I'm going to show you the best FPS boost for this game for 1.7.2's update right now at this very moment. Let's jump straight into it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, before we jump into Hunt Showdown and me show you the settings you're going to be using inside the game is Windows graphics and just tweaks inside Windows to get better performance for this game. And trust me ladies and gentlemen, this works 100%. Let's jump straight into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button here and type in settings, just like this, and press enter. Go to update and security and make sure your Windows is up to date on a regular basis. You're going to click on check for Windows updates and make sure your Windows is up to date. I highly recommend you do this because if games get up to date and they get updated, your Windows needs to get updated as well. If you do see this option here, I highly recommend go and download and install it. I'm not going to bore you guys by clicking that button. Next step you're going to need to do is go to privacy over here, scroll all the way down and go to background apps. Now you might have this on like this and then all of these things are going to run in the background which you don't want for your machine because it's going to use RAM and resources like your CPU and RAM and you don't want that to happen while you are playing any game in fact. So switch this off and then click on the home button over here. You're going to go to system and then this is the display settings obviously if depending on how many monitors you have i have three we're going to go to notifications and actions you're going to turn this off and only tick this box over here focus assist turn this off and have these three on over here or you can turn them all off completely power and sleep is your own personal preference i just keep mine on never multitasking this is a very important step for people out there if you are running one monitor or one display go ahead and switch this off if you have multiple displays like me go and switch this on it helps a lot for people out there that has multiple displays. Projecting to this PC, we can just skip this option. Shared experiences, make sure you turn all of these things off. Go to clipboard and say clear and make sure this is off over here. Remote desktop, make sure this is off as well. If you use remote desktop, you can go and enable it, but it's your own personal preference. From here, we're going to go to gaming and we're going to go to Xbox Game Bar. You're going to turn this off unless you use it. Captures, again, you're going to turn everything off here unless you use it. If you don't use it, I highly recommend switching it off, putting this on 30 minutes, off, 30 FPS, standard, and uncheck this box over here. Game mode. Now, for a lot of people out there, apparently, I don't know if this is accurate, but if you turn this on, you might get a little bit more performance out of your game. In my own experience, with my own personal machine, which is a 9700K with a RTX 2060 OC and 16 gigs of RAM, I do not see any change in the game itself if I change this to on or off. I don't get increased performance or less performance. So I just leave this off completely. It's your own personal preference. Personalize, you're going to go to colors. Now a lot of people play games on a Windows machine that looks like this. Light mode. I highly recommend changing this from light to dark because in light mode it uses resources like your CPU, RAM and your graphics card all in one. So I highly recommend going to change this to dark mode and the transparency effect of here, go ahead and turn this off. You do not need it. Choose your own personal color here. My personal color is storm. The darker, the better. You get the point. So I can still see what I'm doing, but it's your own personal preference on what color you want to do here. All right. Click on the home button and then from here, you're going to click out of this. And you're going to press control alt delete on your keyboard go to task manager and then task manager is going to open you're going to go to startup over here and you're going to disable everything inside here that you do not need now for laptop users you might have a lot of windows stuff like this and real tech stuff like that and update all these things you might have inside here don't disable them you do not want to run into a blue screen error but disable things that you know you don't use like for instance i use origin steam um, Cortana, I use all these things, but they disable and they don't impact my startup. This will help your machine. Trust me. All right, the next step you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in device manager, just like this, and go to device manager. Make sure your graphics card drivers is up to date on a regular basis. I highly recommend you do this. Right click on your graphics card, say update drivers, and say search automatically for drivers. If you do not have the latest drivers on your machine, it will automatically install your drivers. If you click this button, your screen will go completely black, your backgrounds will change, all those things, because it's installing the latest drivers. Alright? So, just make sure you have the latest drivers installed. 
Next thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button up here and type in graphics settings, just like this, and click on graphics settings. You're going to add Hunt Showdown inside here. So now, the first thing is this one over here, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If you do have this option and yours is off, I highly recommend going ahead and switch it on. It's going to ask you to restart your computer, but you can go ahead and do that after you watch this video completely finished. Now, if you do not have this enabled, I highly recommend enabling it if you do have this option. Next step is this one over here. You're going to click on Browse, go to Steam, where your Steam is installed. You're going to go to Steam Apps, Common, and find where Hunt Showdown is installed. So I'm just going to press H to find Hunt. Here's Hunt Showdown, and that's the EXE file, right? This one here. You're going to double click on it, or you can just click Add, and it's going to add it over here. It's going to look like this. You're going to click on it, and it's the EXE for Hunt Showdown. You're going to click on Options, and then yours is going to be on Let Windows Decide. You're going to click on High Performance, and let it select your graphics card. You're going to say Save, and you're going to close out of this. Next step you're going to need to do is go to the search button up here and type in Run. There's another way of doing this actually. Just press the Windows key and R on your keyboard and it will also bring up the Run tab. Press Shift and then 5 for the percentage symbol. Type in Temp, Shift 5, the percentage symbol and delete everything inside here. If there's a lot of stuff inside here, just click on anything. Press Ctrl and A to highlight everything. Right click on it and say Delete. Say Continue and it will delete all the temporary files on your Windows machine that you do not need. Go to your recycling bin, say empty recycling bin, and say yes. Say continue. And next step you're going to need to do is the exact same thing. So open up the run tab again, and you're going to type in temp only this time, and press enter. You're going to open up this, and you might have a lot of stuff inside here again. Press control and A, highlight everything, right click on it, and say delete. Delete everything inside here, go to your recycling bin, empty recycling bin, and say yes. Next step you're going to need to do is the exact same thing again. So you're going to open up your run tab. This time you're going to type in prefetch, just like this, and press enter. You're going to say continue, and you're going to have a lot of stuff inside here that is prefetched files for Windows that you do not need. I highly recommend you go ahead and do what I'm showing you now, these three steps, on a regular basis, a day in, day out thing, right? Control and A, highlight everything, right click on it, and delete it. These are just cache stuff that you can go and delete completely off your, your machine. It doesn't need to be on your machine at all because this is going to pile up and pile up and pile up and start using resources and start wasting space. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the game and let me show you the best settings that you can be using for Hunt Showdown right now on the 1.7.2 update. Let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in Hunt Showdown right now, and I'm in the lobby, and I'm doing about 306, 309 FPS, and this doesn't prove anything because I'm in the lobby. I'm not actually in the game. So let me jump straight into the game, and let me show you the options you are going to be using to get really good performance for Hunt Showdown. Let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm inside the game right now, and I'm doing about 100 FPS, 99 FPS, just standing here. So a lot of people are losing FPS if they go into compounds or places where it needs to render in a lot of things like buildings, people, where they're going to gunfights or whatever the case might be. So this is what you're going to need to do. Okay, so we're going to go to options and we're going to go to basic again. And I'm just going to show you what this does. Object quality, medium, texture quality, medium or low. So I'm going to put it on low, put this store on 16, anti-analyzing off, lighting low, this on low, effects quality off, post-processing quality off, particle quality low, this detailed, V-Sync do not enable it, it's going to cap your FPS, and these two off, all right? These, I'm going to untick now, all of them, and say apply. Let it just apply on my game, just give it some time. And then I'm just going to show you the FPS that it does by doing this. Okay, so I'm just going to press escape and I'm going to stand over here. So now they had increased my FPS by a lot. So basically going from like 80 FPS to 115, 116, the FPS will increase and it will stay like this while you're in a compound, while you're busy fighting people, while you're in a gunfight, while you're in a very intense moment you're going to have to keep these settings like this for the best performance. If I change the settings back to where it was, if I go ahead and change these things to high, high, put this one on, let's just say, 
SMAA to TX, put this on high, high, medium, this one about uh, medium, this one about medium, and then enable these two things. I'm going to apply this now. Let me just show you what happens to your FPS if you put it on its max quality. And if you put everything on basically high except these over here on medium. There we go. Now you get a blur effect. As you can see, there's a blur effect. I do less FPS. Way less FPS, which isn't good. And you get a blur effect when you zoom in. You don't want that blur effect. Now to take that blur effect off, it's these two over here. You do not want it. So I'm going to take it off completely now. So now when I zoom in, it still blurs a little bit because of this. It's because of anti-analyzing, right? Anti-analyzing, switch it off completely, so you apply, and now it won't do it, right? And you can see I'm doing more FPS in my game. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, the best settings that you could be using for this game right now at this very moment with this new update is these settings that I'm showing you right now, okay? So this, you're going to put on medium, you're going to put this on medium. Keep this like this. If you change this to, let's say this, and apply it, I'm just going to show you what it does. Okay, I'm going to put it on 1. Not 16, on 1. Okay, with anti-analyzing off and lighting quality on high. Right, as you can see, it's boosting up my FPS. As you can see, it's boosting up my FPS. So go to options, right? So if you want that little bit more FPS and you don't mind having this like this, go ahead and do that. This one over here, I'm going to put on low, this on low, this on off, this one over here on off, this one over here on low, detailed, and these two unabled. So uncheck these. Apply, going to apply it, and watch my FPS. So these are the best settings you can be using while playing the game itself. You'll get the best FPS out of this game, is these settings right over here. So follow these settings over here. And you should be good to go with whatever machine you are running at the very moment. The advanced tab, untick all of them. If you are running a very low-end gaming machine, I do not recommend changing this. Please don't. Like, I'm just going to put it on 95 and I'm going to apply it. Okay? Can you see it already starts looking bad? The more you drop it, yes, you'll do a little bit more FPS, but your game is going to look really, really bad. Look here, I mean, if I change it even more down to like 70 and apply it, my game looks even worse. But I'm still not doing that much FPS. So I'd rather let my game look good and do good FPS by applying 100 and let my game look good and still do good FPS. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to me to channel if you are new year. And as always, peace out.